Hi guys, I'm Dr. Tanya Jain from Badge 2015, NDMC Medical College and Hindura Hospital, Delhi. And I secured a rank of 142 in this year's November INICT and a rank of 1235 in this year's NEET PG. So thank you for the amazing response on my previous video about how I use GTs. And I'm making this video at this point of time because the NEET PG is just around the corner and it is so very important that you make an effective revision plan for the last 10 days. So hopefully you have done uh, one cycle of your first read and you're planning to at least revise everything two times. So uh, preferably a 30 day revision cycle followed by a 20 day revision cycle is something that is ideal and will help you a lot. And the last 10 days for me were always very, very crucial. And since due to so many delays, uh, we had to do this again and again. I tried to perfect those 10 days because every time uh, that I gave an exam, whatever I read during that time uh, did feature in the exam. So it's very important for you to touch all subjects essentially, uh, at least the volatile areas, the very memory intensive areas in, in that period. And uh, as the trend is now going, especially emergencies, instruments, and things that have been recurrently asked. For example, you know that ABG is going to be asked. So you know emergencies are going to be asked. So you should uh, brush up on these things. And also very memory intensive areas like micro, like NAT. So these we tend to forget, even pharma. So uh, it's a good idea to revise them before the exam. And lastly, if you have a subject that you are perpetually weak in and you touch that in the last uh, 10 days, you will definitely score better. Now is a good time to actually make that revision resource because you don't want to pick up something completely new at the very end, right? It will really make you anxious. So if you have a set notebook or two that you're going to revise in the last 10 days, so it will make things much easier. If I had to pick a single resource, I would go with the DAMS DVT because it's very comprehensive. It always has a good strike rate. So definitely you can attend that, uh, preferably live because at that time you're very motivated. So many people are attending it and it's good to make notes separately, completely separately. And uh, other than that, uh, for some high image intensive subjects, uh, I did a DBMCI's wipe, for example, anatomy, very high yield. Uh, also, uh, dissection specimens are asked frequently these days. So if you can't do anything, there are Dr. Ashwini's uh, videos of dissection specimens, even on YouTube. So definitely do that. Uh, other subjects like micro, path. Again, a lot of images come. Uh, Ophtha, definitely instruments, retina images, extremely important. And uh, things like derma, so uh, and even PSM, like Kata thermometer and all did come this year. So you can all you can do these subjects from Vibe and uh, they really help me out. Uh, for even uh, something like FMT, they are asking specimens increasingly these days. So again, this is a subject you can do. And uh, definitely don't leave out short subjects and think that they won't be tested. Uh, they really elevate your rank. Only basic things are asked from these subjects. They are easier to manage during the last time. So definitely touch upon short subjects before you go for your exam. Thirdly, uh, I did explore other resources because we had so many delays. So uh, Dr. Zainab Bora Ma'am's Unacademy special classes uh, were really good. Uh, so for example, the BTR series, that is short form for Buri Tararato. So that was very ideal to cover in the last 10 days. There are about eight classes and it's like a mixed bag of things like, you know, tubes, instruments, oxygen delivery devices, uh, your STD kits, scorings, classifications, vacutaneous, cannulas. So all of this to just see before the exam uh, will help you out. Other than that, she also had, uh, there were uh, short revision courses for the crash course series for a few subjects. So if you're weak in those subjects, you can give these a go. Like ortho was really nice, ENT, radiology, of course, because she's a radiologist and uh, even OBS, gynae, FMT. So if you're weak, you can give them a go uh, if you do have the time. Other than that, if you're weak in micro or path, definitely uh, Dr. Preeti Sharma ma'am's kickstart morning sessions were great. 
uh, I was weak in micro and they really helped me out. Uh, especially try to focus on areas like parasitology, virology and uh, fungi because uh, they are limited topics but they are heavily tested these days even more than bacteria or immuno. So they have a good yield in the exam. Things like parasito eggs, uh, life cycles etc are very very high yield. The best way to plan your last 10 days would be to start from uh, heavy duty subjects like medicine, surgery, uh, obs gynae. But uh, remember that these are not the only things you have to do. So you just have to touch upon the important volatile things of these subjects and then move on to your short subjects. And finally, to your most difficult uh, subjects memory wise, that is anat, micro, pharma to be done in the very last uh, days so that you can just put everything in your brain as much as possible and just vomit it out in the paper because there are things like that. Uh, however much it is clinically integrated or not. If you're really weak in a particular subject, you want to revise it in a bit more depth. Uh, Marrow rapid revision videos were very good. Uh, for uh, I checked out physiology and biochem in first year. Uh, then I did do ENT image revision, uh, especially images of middle ear and the instruments. And um, then for final year, surgery, TND revision videos were great to just uh, recap all of surgery and my notes in a very quick way uh, without missing out on trauma and uh, the important updates of trauma that usually come uh, that year. And uh, even derma image revision was very, very helpful for a quick review of uh, images in derma. Uh, these were the main resources that I did use and if you want me to make a deep video which is a bit more detailed about each subject let me know and I'll try to do that uh, and I hope this helps you out and you're able to plan your 10 day revision better and you do it now because it's going to really help you out. All the very best. Thank you.